Up next, what could be a heavyweight title fight for the ages between John Jones and Kane Velasquez. All right, here's the former UFC heavyweight champion and in all likelihood future UFC Hall of Famer, Kane Velasquez. You guys have been sharpening each other's skills for years, and it's good to see Kane back and healthy here tonight. Exactly where he belongs. Kane Velasquez is a fighter, and he deserves to be fighting inside of the octagon. One of the tighter strikers the UFC has ever seen in the heavyweight division. The cardio, the pace, the pressure that you face when you fight a Cain Velasquez is overwhelming. Guys melt, and it's because after one round, you realize we're just getting started. Right. And Cain's only revving up the engine. It's truly, truly difficult to stare down the barrel of a fight with Cain Velasquez. And he hasn't necessarily adopted my cardio Cain moniker, but there are <laughs> few guys that can match the cardiovascular strength of the great Cain Velasquez. Big spot for him here tonight. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the date for this, our main event of the evening. Jones is two years the elder. Velasquez weighed in at 240 pounds. Jones will have a seven inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 240 pounds, fighting out of San Jose, California, presenting the challenger, King And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 27 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your home.
great to be back in the H-Town tonight. We are in Houston, Texas, USA, live from Toyota Center. Good to have you with us tonight. And this building has a lot of history for my man, D.C. The Gustafson here, Roy Nelson back in the day. We'll see what's in store for these athletes. Tonight. This arena has been great for the American Kickboxing Academy. King Alaska has been able to retain his title in this arena, too. And also holds to the greatest NBA franchise in history, the Houston oh. Rockets. Tonight they will blow, look, tonight the UFC blows the roof off the building, but every night James Harden and now Russell Westbrook put on a show in this fantastic arena. Spoken like a true Golden State Warriors. Clutch City, baby, Clutch City. Right down Clutch down. City, baby. Which hat you wearing today? Hat you wearing? <laughs> I'm wearing a rocket from we're in Houston. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's gonna try to take him down, there you go. Oh, massive slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. Velazquez has got full mount now. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Tonight. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. The ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Got the single collar tie. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. And they separate. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Velasquez gets the tight clinch here. Under two minutes now to go in round one. And that left hook landed on the button. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Cardio Kane Velasquez. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful head kick. Sound defensively blocks the shot. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Into the final minute of this championship fight. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, it looks like he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. A lot of body weight from the top position. How does he go about trying to finish this fight? He just needs to stay heavy. He's gotta keep his weight down. He's gotta be working, but not working recklessly because this is a position that you can escape. Make sure you secure your opponent and make sure you secure your opponent. Land strikes that matter and end this fight. 
Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. So here we are as our next round gets underway. I would have tapped in that previous round, by the way. I would have tapped. It was so tight. I cannot believe that he got out of that submission attempt. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. You got to check these low leg kicks. Straight punch lands. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight. And you have to have it, because the target's always in your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title wrapped right around the world. Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single, rotated head outside. This dude's going for a ride. Oh. That was a big takedown. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. He's attacking on board now. Now he's in no danger of a submission. How about that? He's like, you go here, <laughs> my arm's free, and now he's got plenty of room to operate here out of side control. Nicely Great done. Job. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Velazquez is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. And he's back up. Switching stances here. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Good punch lands. Nice head kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Jones. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Watch knees to the body. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Able to thwart the single leg takedown attempt there. And they separate. Slips. Liver kick. Nice punch, Lance. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And that he comes knee, through with a big knee. He hurt him. Some nice back and forth action here. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. So once again, no surprise, DC. The fighter with the longer reach able to land another punch there. 
Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here. That could affect the judging. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. That punch, no good. Velasquez's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. <laughs> Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice loop and punch. Oh, collar tie. Oh, big knee there. Misses with that punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Punch is blocked. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Nice straight punch. Moving to his left now. Leg kick. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high block. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Jones. Close guard. Nice hammer fist. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, so the unofficial numbers thus far, 114 total strikes have now found the mark for Cain Velasquez. And striking at a 45% clip tonight against John Jones. Velasquez has got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Under two minutes to go. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Oh, nice punch there by Cain Velasquez. Big knee lands there. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> right hand punch from the clinch. 
at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big punch land. Boom. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You got to start checking these, You've man. You got to check these kicks, or you're going to be limping around the octagon very shortly. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Nice hammer fist. Jones is looking to pass into half guard here, but he's denied. Waiting seconds here of round number three. Nice hammer fist. Well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Okay, stop! All right, relax. You're fine. It's just a little blood. We've been here before. You've been cut. No worries. We like the taste of our own blood. Now's the chance to go out. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. And they separate. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Beautiful punch. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Wow, actually got the takedown. Velazquez's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's, he's limping now. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Try to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Jones. Back up to his feet. What a punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Oh, is that a massive knee to the head? Could be in trouble here. Big head kick. Oh! Here's the kick blocked by Johnny Bone. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, nice.
Straight right hand, no good. Single call. Oh, nice job. Then the takedown and scramble to his feet. Leg kick checked effectively there by Jones. Oh, perfect head kick there. Ooh, what a punch. Jones leaning on the kicking game here tonight, DC. Pretty good strategy early. And that is usually what he leads with. He's a great kicker. He's a guy that has a variety of kicks. Spinning kicks, knees, side kicks. He kicks in so many ways that you never truly know where he's coming from. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. That's a good strike right there. Oh, lands the overhand. How good is that? All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice hook, Lance. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. Thought he's going to attack a triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, fight down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you stand up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, single collar tie now. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Oh! Brilliant submission defense there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Cup lands for him. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Well, at this point, the buddy is way up on the judges' scorecards, and from a stamina standpoint, he looks like he can fight all night. He does a fantastic job. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Velasquez. Oh, nice. Wow! Oh. Serve him up. Go get him. Big knee to the body. Try to establish that jab. Jab hurt him a little bit. Under three minutes now to go round five. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. 
Velasquez's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. A oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Close guard. Velasquez's pass attempt denied. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice body. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Right hand pushing the clinch. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. He's stuck looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Lands a nice one, too. Jones's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. One minute to go in the fight. Big kick. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Sneaky head kick. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, Better by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC heavyweight champion. And I'm not sure any heavyweight could have held up under that onslaught, a flurry of strikes to set up the TKO and championship victory here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 30 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by TKO. man on the planet there's the new ufc heavyweight champion you don't get them all right dc but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ i mean he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet